Joe? snow. I've never seen snow. Well, honey, there's actually not going to be any snow. It's going to be kind of like it is here. But you won't be here when it happens. What, what happens? Oh, yeah. Let me take a look at that. Oh, oh yeah, that's really wiggly. That's going to come out. Okay. The tooth comes out, you put it under your pillow. And that night, who comes? The tooth fairy. That's right. So the tooth fairy takes your tooth and she tosses it up into the sky and it becomes what? A star. That's right. Wherever I am, I will be able to see that star. You will? Yes, I promise. And will I get paid for it? <laughs> you little conniver. Go get washed up. It's time for dinner. Yeah. Yeah, good, good. That's better. Hey, you two. Come on in. Dinner's ready. All right. In what some Washington insiders are describing as a political game of chicken, the Republican leadership has threatened to defeat President Clinton's proposed budget unless the president agrees to their demands to curtail spending for what Newt Gingrich described. Here it is, Kathmandu. Is it far? Halfway around the world. When the sun sets here, it'll just be rising on your mom and dad. If the government had its way, we couldn't afford to have the sun come up. Where are the mountains? Right here. After they land in Kathmandu, they fly by helicopter to Lukla. See it? <sighs> What's to see? If it were my birthday, okay. I would get a good video. Don't. But hiking in the Himalayas. I know. When I turned 40, I had a piece of fish and went to bed. <laughs> That's why I married you. Oh, I never would have guessed. Mom, I wish you'd stop worrying. It just seems so odd to me. To the Himalayas, it's across Mom, the world. Mom, we're not climbing Mount Everest. We're going hiking with guides and a chef. <laughs> really, you've got to stop worrying. I want to go away with a clear conscience, please. 
Don't do this. Mom, it's been 40 years since Dad was killed. You have got to quit being scared for me. You are only a baby. I wish you could have known him. But I do, Mom. I feel like I do. I don't know why, but all my life I felt like Dad was watching over me. You know, Bill has been a wonderful father. Mm -hmm. But Dad has been there, too, watching over both of us. Stop worrying, please. Prabhu, I know what you're saying. Kathmandu may be sunny and 80 degrees, but I'm telling you, you've got trouble coming and you've got to send out an alert. We have both seen this before. Trust me, it is here now and you are next. Picture. Oh, yeah. Don't go away. <laughs> God's country. Wow. Man, I'm happy to be here. Boy, the kids would love this. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Is that it down there? Hi, I'm Ang. Hello, Ang. Finally, nice we you. meet. Hi, Joe. Yes. Welcome to Nepal. Thank you. Yes. May I please? This is Norbu. I'm the cook. Yes. Hi, the best Norbu. cook in Nepal, I Joe. promise. Hi. And this is Hari Ram, the son of my best friend. Hari Ram. Ah, hello. Hi. Hello. Joe. This is his first trek. He's from the south, you know, Hindu. But we forgive him because he has a strong back. <laughs> <laughs> Go, get their things. Yes. I uh, understand this is your birthday, ma'am. Yes, it is. Then I offer this as my gift. Oh, you know what? I want one of these. You want those? Oh, oh. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. wait. I want um, one of these. Uh, how much? Uh, five? No, ten. Ten. She wants ten. Oh, 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 fruit. I told... Wait, could you hold that? I told Molly I'd bring her back something that grows in Nepal that she could do for show and tell. How about one of these? This is sort of weird looking. Let's get this too. How much are these? This five. is five. This is one. I can understand Nepalese. Thank you. You're welcome. For what? <laughs> For this. Oh. You know, ever since I was a little girl, I've always wanted to stand and look at the highest point on earth. You know, see the place where God actually said, that's it, folks. Happy birthday. Thank you. Mwah. They look on fire, don't they? Yeah. Nice evening, huh? I'm Jonathan Buxton. Joe Hoffman. This is my wife, Amy. Hi. Nice Pleasure. to meet you. Your first visit? Yes, yeah. How about you? Oh, 
Jimmy, no. My wife and I first came here just after the war. And then our 10th anniversary, and this year our 50th. Congratulations. Only Lauren passed away last spring. Oh, I'm sorry. But I promised we'd celebrate right here. That's just what I'll do. Are you going out with one of the groups? Nope, just gonna be the two of us. Well, it's as close to heaven as one can get. Yeah. Yes, it is. Ahí está bien. Ahí. Ya. Ay, mucho más, mucho más. Great. Are you heading out this morning? At my age, I'd need an escalator just to get there. Oh. oh come on, everybody's <laughs> leaving. You'll be all alone. Well, that's the way I want it this time. I'll see you in a second. Uh, I say, um, would you mind? Uh, I promised her that some way we'd make the climb. Of course. Let's see. Um, put it there. Thank you. I envy you. It's the perfect time of year. Mm, yeah. See you in two weeks. Okay. This song? Is this some marker? No, sir. No? Well, yes, a marker in a way. For what? Death, ma'am. For those who have died on the mountain. Hmm. Hmm. You have good stamina, the both of you. Oh, yeah, well, we've hiked a lot. We've, we've hiked in the Cascades and the Sierras and um, Canada. Rich executive? <laughs> mm. More like a poor psychologist. Ah, oh, you work up here. We have our troubles up here, too. Trouble? What kind of troubles do you have here? What do you do about them? Look there. It's free. And we don't have to lie down and talk about our mothers. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You've got that look. 
What look? The look, the look, the look. <sighs> One of the monks looked at me today. And you thought it was your father? Is that crazy? No. No. It's this place. It's the mountains. It's kind of magical. That's it. I think that's Island Peak. That's where we're going. They consider that the foothills? <laughs> yeah, a child <laughs> could climb that. Yeah. Wow. Let's find one. He can tell us all about it. A big child. Come in. Get it. Eric! It's Boutros. He's on the radio. Hey, Boutros, what's up? Everything, my friend. We've got ourselves a typhoon. Listen. Typhoon? This time of year? Yes, and it's heading your way. Boutros, we've got hundreds of hikers up there. Get them on two-way. Can't do it. The good king and his infinite wisdom decreed the two-way radio illegal in the mountains. You've got trouble coming. He's freezing. Do you have any any other clothes for him? A boy? Yeah. Not a problem. This weather is most unusual, but by tomorrow it will pass. Yeah, but until then. Don't worry yourself about the boy, sir. He's from the south. He has much to learn about the cold. Right, so you you don't have any other clothes for him? He has many clothes for sure. But you have no warmer clothes. He'll be fine. Have a chapati. No, no thanks. see the moon. I think... I think tomorrow, if there is no sun, we must go back to Lukla. Hmm.
Bill? What is it? Okay. Oh, God. Honey. Something terrible is going to happen. everything up. Going around for three hours like this. Uh, we're not getting anywhere. The sun is coming out. In the heat of the sun, we will reach the village by nightfall. I promise you. Come, we must keep going. Come. Yep. Tea. Take small Thank steps. You. Hang in there, buddy. Somebody will be right. Eric! There. Jonathan. Thank God you're back safe. How are they doing, all right? Well, they're lucky. They were at a base camp just above us. All communications shut down. We're on our own here, I'm afraid. And this hasn't happened in 40 years. Oh, never in November. There's a young couple out there. Do you remember them, the Americans? Hoffmans, yeah. But they're not with one of the groups, and I don't know which way they were headed. We'll try to find them. Carl.
God, yeah, I must have it. I'm sure I did. Oh, God, if I didn't, Leah's gonna be hey, so Hey, what are you mumbling about? Oh, Leah. Yeah? Leah asked if she could spend the night at Karen's Wednesday night, and I told her she could. I can't remember if I told Mom I told her she could. But if I didn't, and Mom tells her no, Leah's gonna be so mad at me. Yeah, well, it'll be nothing compared to your mother. Is there a world's record for I told you so? Well, she doesn't have to know. We can get out of this and tell her we spent the whole time in shorts picking poppies. We will, won't we? What? Get out of this. Oh, sure, sure, of course. Because you know the kids need us, Joe. Especially Ben. You know he's at an age Of course we're going to get out of this. And we're going to be back before you know it, and it'll all be a bad dream, and we'll be watching Leah win at Scrabble. <sighs> Mwah. All right, let's, let's go. Let's go. Who needs these? Joe, so do you. Well, I got these hiking boots. Hiking boots? Joe, we're buried in snow here. You can freeze your feet. What do you want me to do? 
Look at him. At least I've got something to wear. Please. Thank you. Uh -huh. Tonight and what happens? Hmm. Well, the tooth fairy flies down, puts the tooth in her pocket. The worst in over two decades has dumped over seven feet of snow. You forgot part. What? The ten dollars under my pillow. Under the pipers in the freezing temperatures. Authorities in the village of Lukla at the base of the Himalayas say rescue efforts are now underway. As of now, the death toll stands at 19. In recent years, the Himalayan mountain range with its spectacular scenery has become a mecca for tourists throughout the world. Although mountain climbing is still reserved for the chosen few, hiking in the lower lying terrain has become increasingly okay. popular. The months of October and November especially are considered to be the mildest, with fair weather and temperatures frequently recorded in the mid-60s and 70s. With this expectation, hundreds of hikers now find themselves in a life Look, and nothing's death gonna happen, all right? I'm telling you. And deadly storm. Take it down. You got people up here, Carl. Look at the fuel, Eric. I mean, it's on reserve. You're gonna kill us. Here, let me do this. Could you help me with this, please? Yeah, sure. Here. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got you. Listen. There! Over the rig! Help! 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 Take the damn thing down. Just step over the next ridge, Carl, that's all. Help! Be back. They will not. They did not see us. We just gotta keep moving. We gotta get down out of this valley. Hmm. Ang. Ram was like a son to me. I cannot leave without him. Yeah, but Ang. Listen, you're the only one that can take us down there. What good am I to you, sir? I'm a guy for hikers, not a mountain climber. Well, but you know the mountains. I'm assured by yes, but this I never experienced. This, this has never happened. This was never supposed to happen. Aaron, everything's gone. We have nothing but this top plane. No stove, no heat, no food. Yes, another avalanche could come from either side. We must leave. Let's come. Let's go.
see anything? There. Barrett, over there. Jonathan. Before this trip, six earlier, we had five groups made it down on their own. The next village reports nearly 200 made it down safely, but there's still over 100 unaccounted for. We'll find them tomorrow, right, all of them? No, Summer. we'll head up now. Herrick. Still got half an hour of daylight left. Herrick. Carl, we got people dying up there. Herrick, the day is over. You go out now, you go out alone. We're going again at sunrise. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Sorry. Wait, wait. You hear something? Oh, he's very ill, very sick. Yeah, but, but I think we should share that. The boy is my charge. It is my duty to protect him. You are dressed more warmly than we. It is very important that Ram stay warm. It's important that we all stay warm. Now, I understand that you're concerned. I understand your fear. Oh, I'm not afraid. None of us have anything to fear. We are not afraid. It's important that we work together. It's important that we share everything we have if we're gonna get through this. And I'll tell you something else, my wife is not gonna die up here. You understand me? And we'll work together, so let's do this. We have nothing to fear.
us millions of. Mm. Molly lost her tooth. What? I just know it. Molly lost her tooth. That's the one right there. Which one? Oh, it's the third one on the right from the sixth one past the Big Dipper. Can't you tell? Oh, yeah. That's right. side of the ridge is a village. I am sure of it. Look what's down in the valley. It's here. too far. Too far, sir. The boy will die. I'm telling you, it's the only way. Yeah. Please. On. Where's the village? Where the hell is it? I was searching. But you said you knew this. No, no. you are no. telling me. No. Come on! 
what to do, all right? Do you understand me? Yes or no? What? Yes, no, what? All right. We should take care of him off. Let's go. All right. Hank! Oh, Joe! What is it? What is it? It's nothing. But it's your feet, isn't it? No. Let's just figure it out. That's how we'll go. That's how we get to Lukla. Right there. We'll follow the river. Okay. We'll follow the river. We just came from that direction? Yeah, so... well, we're going back. How's he doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right here, why don't you put these on? Listen, I'm gonna do everything that I can. Get you home. All right. I'm gonna get home. What are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? He's freezing to death. Yeah, well, you're freezing to death too. What about your feet? Just, just get my liners out of my backpack, would you? Your liners are not gonna keep you warm enough. <sighs> Look, if he, if he dies up here, I wanna make sure I did everything I could to save him. Oh. What if it was Ben? Oh, don't. Well, what if it was? It's the very least I could do. you're going down than it was going up. Dare you? After you. Okay. Please. Hang, what are we doing? Rang is too weak. You and I are strong enough. We must save who we can. You're a news station. How can you have Shh. no news? My daughter and son-in-law are up there. Then I'm going to call the American Embassy. What do you mean, they're closed? How could the U.S. Embassy be closed? The government shut down the embassy.
was his first trek. Uh, they don't have the blood for this in the south. It takes time to build the strength. I think the best way is the river. Joe, you can't. Look at your feet. Look what you're wearing, all right? My feet are gone. If we don't get somewhere soon, it's not going to matter, all right? So let's just do this, all right? Ang, come here. Help me. Yes, I will go. All right. Let's dig a snow cave. Let's dig it up in this hill. Okay. Come on, let's get him. Pull him up. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, we can lie on him here. Okay, okay. She's I'm always trying to prove something. I'm always stretching it, bending it. Please stop us. Just stop. Some have pushed it so far. We both could die. Amy. I married you for who you are. And no matter what happens, I would take this journey again. I want to see the kids. We both will. We both will, right? Both of us. Oh. What? Oh, God, I'm let me help. To, let me do that. I'm trying to let get me do these it. off. Okay, okay. Let me help. Here. Here, here, here. Shh. Okay. 
Is that all right? It's okay. Quickly. Yeah. Oh, God, Joe. Joe. in Nepal. We understand that Joe and Amy Hoffman are still lost on the mountain. The three kids inside who are very frightened and very concerned. And frankly, your being here is not very helpful. But sir, could you at least tell us... What am I supposed to tell you? You're the one who has all the information. You tell me. Are they alive? I don't know. Tell me. Tell me. Can any of you tell me? There's got to be something in here. Something. Molly's fruit. Mm. Let's have some. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, here. This will make you feel better. 
Eat this. How is it? How is it? Um, I don't know what this is, but when we get home, we're growing it in the backyard. <laughs> Here, have some more. Here, make it feel better. Save all the seeds. We'll plant a grove of them. <laughs> mm, it is good. It'll make you feel better. What else you got in there? <laughs> Let me go look. I can't believe I didn't see that this whole time. <sighs> Amy, look. Look, look. Because of that damn river. Hey, we're here! Oh, God, we gotta go get him. We gotta go find him. Uh uh. You have to. No, you're gonna have to do it, Amy. I won't leave you to die on this mountain. I'm gonna die here if you don't get help. Go. I promise you I'll bring help. I love you. I love you too. Oh! 
We got you. We got you. My, my, my husband is still out there. Where is he? Where? Oh, my God. I don't know. Ma'am, we've got less than an hour of daylight. Where is he? He's, he's by a river. He won't survive the night. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Find him. Too high, I can't see anything. You said by the river, right? Passed to a better life. Will you? Jonathan. Welcome back. Thanks. Hey, could you get something out of my pocket for me? That's all, yeah. Thanks.
brought her back for you. It was quite a journey. <laughs> Sue, would you get these to Dr. Fisher, please? Thanks. Joe, I'm ordering a morphine drip. That'll ease the pain. I hope so. So, what's next for us, Doctor? Well, we'll begin some whirlpool therapy with you. But Joe's condition is much worse than your frostbite. We'll begin hyperbaric treatments. What's that? We have to get more oxygen into the affected areas to promote circulation. Well, does that hurt? We'll get them through it. Kids, how about we give you folks some time to rest, hmm? Mm -hmm. Ben, Ben, Ben. So, how did the, uh, how'd the tryouts go? I made the team. You made the team, even without me coaching, huh? Head fake, then shoot. I did great. Good to see you. I did. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't worry, all right? I... I don't pray. But this one... This one had me praying. Well, it worked. Daddy, he was there. He was watching out for me. Uh, I'm sorry for what I put you through. Don't. I'm so proud of you. Uh, I wish... I wish I had your courage. Is. I live my life through you sometimes. It's uh, it's like a roller coaster ride, <laughs> but it sure keeps the ticker going. How's he doing? He's out of surgery. He'll be in the recovery room for about an hour. And? Joe. Mm. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hmm. I was just having the strangest dream. What's going on down there? It's with my toes. But my fingers. I love you. 
I love you. I just want to walk, okay? You will. I just want to walk, okay? So far to go. He's got more surgery, not to mention rehab. He'll be with us at Thanksgiving. You will see. Joe is a strong person. And so are you. Walnuts, you'll get full. Mm. I'm fine. I'm just cleaning a base. Oh, we'll leave some room for the turkey. Dad? Dad, hi. I, uh... I was, I was trying to get to the bathroom, and I... I couldn't keep my balance, so I, uh... I'm sorry. For what? Oh, I'm sorry that this happened to us. I'm sorry. Here, let me help you, Dad. No, that's all right. Yeah, I, I think I can do this myself. I don't think that's a good idea. Let me just. Dad, you're home. It's all that matters. Come on, let me help you. Yeah. I'll just have stuffing. I'll have what she doesn't want. <laughs> ben, honey, dinner's ready. Come on down. Mom, I want everything. Then you shall have everything. Except Brussels sprouts. Right, of course. <laughs> ben, come on. Ice cream. Hi. were really bad. We thought about you. All of you. It was because of you that we got back. You brought us home. I've never been better in my whole life.